Hello everyone, welcome back to the channel, Steven here. And today's tutorial, we're going to cover how to build a small quotations app using Power Apps. So what you need to imagine is you're running a small business or maybe you're freelancing and one of your clients asks you for a quotation. And what you do is you open up your Excel, copy paste from an old file, tweak the numbers here and there, and then hope you don't miss anything. I really think this sounds familiar to a lot of people. So in this tutorial, I'll show you how to build a professional quotation system using Power Apps model driven apps so that you can generate, track and email quotes in minutes, not hours. No more manual errors, no more formatting headaches, just clean, consistent and blended quotes that will make you look sharp and save you time in the long run. So without further ado, let's dive in. For our database, we're going to create four tables. We're going to have the customer's table where one customer can have multiple quotes and one quote can actually have multiple line items. Those line items will also be referencing data from the products or the service table where we're going to be getting the unit price that we're going to be multiplied by the quantity to give us the line total per each and every quotation line item. So let's actually dive into Dataverse and have these tables set up. With our three parent tables created, let's go ahead and add the last table, which is the code learn item table. And the primary column, we can just give it a name of uh, description or notes. And let's ensure that uh, under advanced properties, advanced options, we have checked on the leveraging of the quick create. And then click on create. Now that our table has been created, let's go to forms and on new form here, I'll click on new. We should add a quick create form and we can just give it a name of information and then click create. We have got three sections by default. 
I'll select the first one, give it a name of uh, line item detail. And uh, on the left hand side here, we can see all of the columns that we've created. The first column that I want to add is the lookup column that is looking up to the code table. This one should be mandatory. Click on save. And then drag it to our section of line item details. The other column that I want to add is the products, product or service. This is another loop column looking up from the product or service table. This one should also be required. Drag it and drop it here. And then we also want to add quantity. Uh, quantity field. Quantity field should be a whole number and uh, we're going to use this one so it should also be required. So we're going to utilize the quantity in order for us to calculate the total line item cost because remember the costs we're defining them under the products or service table and uh, under quantity we are now defining the whole number of the total amount of products we want to get and the line item total this one should be a formula field because we want to go into the table of product or service so I'll select product or service from our list here click on dot and then select the unit price after we've selected the unit price from the product that has been selected, what are we going to do next? So we're going to multiply it by the quantity, like so. In so doing, you've uh, you've added a calculated column that will handle all the arithmetic to come up with the total line item cost. We don't need these two other uh, sections here, so I'll select them, hide, and select the other one, and hide. Save and publish. Now our quotation line items table has been created. Now let's go ahead and add all these tables and components into a model driven app and then we can have one test to see how everything is working together. To create a model driven app whilst in our solution, I'll go to new app, model driven app. Give it a name, called app. And then I'll add a page, which is data this table. And remember the tables that we created, the first one was customer. Second one was products or service, and uh, we had codes and code line items. So select all those, make sure they are showing in the navigation, click on add. This with the group, we can just click on it and then expand on the right hand side here, give it a name of uh, codes. Code manager. Save and publish when it's done publishing you can click on the play button so that we have a feel of how the application is functioning let's add a sample customer okay, and let's add sample products All right, so that's uh, sample data. To create the quotation, I'll go to quotes and then click on add new. I'll select the customer in which uh, this is the customer that we just added here. So I'll select Steven. The details, we want to get a Lenovo and new laptop, which is Lenovo laptop.
for this code was valid until the 30th at 8 o'clock. I'll click on save. Now, I also want to add a quotation line item. So for that one, underneath here, I'll click on quote new line item. It has already associated its quote number. I'll select the product that we want, uh, we want to quote for Lenovo ThinkPad. The quantity when uh, the customer is asking for 10. Notes can be added here. I want to save this and then add another call, another item. They also requested for laptop bags that we sell, 10 of them as well. The notes can also be there. So now, upon saving that, you see that uh, what is happening is the total cost for a Lenovo ThinkPad was 250,000. And now that we've added the, we've added uh, 10, it has amounted to 2.5 million. Um, the same applies to the laptop bag. The unit cost was 66,000. And here it has already done the arithmetics here. But now, you might ask yourselves to say, how do we know the total money that is being requested as per this code right here, like the grand total? For us to do that, I'll quickly go back to the app Select the cost table, make sure that I'm editing the actual form. So I'll click on the pencil icon next to the form. It will give me the form with all the details, the way you're able to see it in the app. But what we want to do is to add a column that can help us calculate the total, grand total of the code that we want to send out to the client. So I'll click on add table column and then I'll just say uh, total. And uh, this one should be a decimal, decimal uh, column of the data type of decimal. And the behavior shouldn't be simple. It should be a row up. So I'll click on save and edit. Upon clicking the edit row up column, this window will pop up. So from here, what you need to do is to add the related entity. So our related entity is the codes line items table. I'll select that. And then what is the aggregate function that we want to add? So what we want is to sum up all the totals per each and every quotation line item. So you click on the check, save and close. It will process and take us back to the previous window. Now that we have configured our row up column, let's go ahead and add our grand total to our main form here. And then when that is done, I'll click on save and publish at the top. And when it has completed saving and publishing, let's go back to the app, open up our quotation. And you see that we have got the grand total field here. So in a scenario where you've added more line items, let's just, as you can see here, the summation is 2,560,000. 2, if we're to add another code line item for the product of, let's just say 2 dB NVMe, they wanted one of this. And uh, yeah, you can just add some notes. If I add that, as you can see here, and uh, click on the calculator icon, and then click on recalculate, what will happen now is let's just confirm if everything is in order here. So yeah, everything is in order. We have got one quantity, that five thousand six hundred, which is pulling from, uh, which is pulling from the products themselves. And from here, if I, I click recalculate, you can see here the sum will now add, append itself to two million five hundred ninety five thousand six hundred, which is the summation of all these line items. So basically, that's how um, the row up column works. So it's just pulling the data from the child entity here and then summing up all the line items total to give us the grand total over here. So this is uh, the end of today's tutorial. I just wanted, um, I hope it will add some value. It has add some, added some value to you as a, as a person or as, as a business entity to say, how can we consolidate uh, a place where we're generating all our quotations, um, making sure that all the products that we have on the line items, they're still, you know, referencing the same cost, the same unit prices. And then from the end, you just configure to say, okay, the client is is needing uh, such, such, such a quantity of this particular product or service. But everything will be customized here, will be added here. And on the customers, you can also manage them on the left hand side here. Um, do uh, comment in the comment section below if you do have any questions or any other video suggestions for the future. But it has been it has been my, it has been me, Stephen Tower, and I wish you all a very good day. Thank you.